everyone. It is Sunday. Oh, it's so hard to breathe in here. Sunday the 11th of April and I think this is renovation week four if I'm not mistaken. Just now at the house today. I think the builders are meant to be coming in today to do some bits. Jas has already started stripping the last of the wallpaper. He was here yesterday while I was at home on Zoom with Ren Kitchens planning our kitchen basically. But I wanted to show you I'm like walking around in circles here. Sorry, it's very hard to breathe, which is why we're wearing masks because <coughs> this stuff is dusty. I wanted to show you what they've kind of done so far, the bits that I didn't show you in last week's video, and then I'll show you the bits that they're going to be doing this week, I think. The plan keeps basically changing because, sorry, I have to put this on, so I hope you can still hear me properly. The plan does change a little bit week to week because it depends on how many guys, like how many tradespeople the builder can bring in that week because they don't like I don't think builders have like permanent employees. They just have like a network of people they work with and then they all help each other out. And also because we need to get rid of our chimney breasts and do the stuff like knock out the wall that touches the party wall. So as soon as we get the green light from the next door neighbour's surveyor we can go ahead with that and so that's all kind of dependent on them but it also depends on when oh this is like my mask what? no nothing it's something like itchy in my mask um but it also depends on obviously once they knock the wall out they have to have the rsj which is a steel beam ready to obviously support the weight of the house and then it i think it all depends because of covid like how long it all takes to arrive so this is why the builder also calls me every week to give me an update on what's happening that week so it all changes but i will show you what they've done so far and what i think they're working on this week <laughs> so here we have jas in his natural habitat currently stripping wallpaper he's doing a really good job of this i loved stripping wallpaper so much but <laughs> There's only a little bit left to do and Jas has very kindly volunteered while I basically vlog. So this bit will hopefully be done. There's only really a tiny bit left on the chimney breast and that up there. It's a really nice and sunny day and so the house looks so bright. I love it. it makes me really excited to move in hopefully when it's summer. And then I spoke to you about our bathroom renovation plans in my last video but just to give you context I filmed my last video about three minutes ago so <laughs> nothing has changed on the bathroom front yet and this is what we're working with for this room today is Monday the 12th of April and we have two lots of good news and one lot of bad potentially bad news i think it will be bad news but i've had a very stressful start to the week so we received the party wall award from the agreed surveyor on saturday which basically is just a document to say that we can go ahead with the structural work and all we need to do is notify the neighbors 24 hours in advance or a bit more if you want to just as a courtesy so i had to really quickly type up the letters because the builders actually wanted to start tomorrow morning and that's not 24 hours i don't want to annoy our neighbors so i told the builders to hold fire and basically start on wednesday that's not a problem and this morning the builder also called me because he had building control round to the house they've approved what he's going to do to the chimney breast so that's really good news i think he'd like put a bracket up to support it before he removes it or something so they come out first to have a look before you do the work and then afterwards once it's been done just to sign off to make sure it's okay and it all complies with building regs and just to say that the house is obviously safe and it's not going to fall down so that was good news we may have some bad news regarding the reno <sighs> It's a bit long and complicated to go into at the moment. I'll need to show you when I'm at the house. So maybe this weekend or one evening if Jas and I go when the builders aren't there because they will be there um, if I try and vlog then. But it could potentially mean adding a lot more cost 
and not just for like materials but also for labor and it will take a bit of time just because of stuff they found underneath the house there's a police car or something going by so that's a little bit stressful i plan to just have a day at home you know just sit at home sort stuff out and the builder called me last night on sunday night on the phone for almost two hours actually discussing like future not future plans future plans with the builder future plans with the house and just stuff that I wanted the boiler moving and all the rest of it and so that was a really productive phone call and I didn't get anything done last night and then I thought I'd do it today because he told me to come over on Tuesday afternoon for a meeting with him but because all this stuff with the party wall award happened and because I have to give the neighbours notice I've typed it up printed it out and I need to go today anyway so I said can we just have this meeting today so I'm just waiting for him to text me back to say yes come in about half an hour and then I will leave so I probably won't show you the house today because the builder would be there with me the whole time and then I don't know when we're next going so I'll be back with like another thrilling update soon hopefully it's good news just cross your fingers for me I can't I just can't deal with any more bad news but we've had more positive news the negative news and that's what I'm going to focus on for today okay didn't think I'd get a chance to vlog but look at this room in less than 24 hours it looks so different every time I come to the house there's huge changes look at all that dust it's insane literally imagine living here during a renovation we've just been chatting bathroom plans and I think oh it smells very farty in here I think it must be the plaster but this room is very nice and bright today because the sun is shining and there we go we're finally attempting to get rid of this ugly ass Look, stump. It's like dropping vegetables, you know that? That's how, <laughs> this how thingy this is. Look, we're it's burying quite... the builder's tools. Wow. Wow, can I have a go? That's... Go on, Ish. Let's see. Okay, guys, I'm going to attempt this. <laughs> the builder's let us borrow his tools. Do Unless you're doing some DIY yourself, saving a bit of money. Why do you say I've never do DIY myself? I can't. Put some welly into it. <laughs> Yeah, of course it's easy. <laughs> it's like, get this massive one. You watch. It's like clipping. There we are. Oops. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the heads up on that one. It nearly hit oh, my. Massive, massive one. Yeah, just make sure you know where, if which way is going to fall. Oh, I don't. Okay, put some well into it. That one's hard. Ouch! <laughs> my head. <laughs> <laughs> done our what is this it's the sun we've done our tree cutting bit of DIY had virgin media to the house to do a survey and now we're on a mission to look for bathroom stuff tiles kitchen stuff all that fun stuff but we went to Pizza Hut um, to order some pizza for the builders because they're doing a really good job and we picked one up for ourselves we're gonna have a little car picnic and their pizzas will be arriving to the house in a bit i um, very excited yep. for this we're so hungry we literally woke up at like quite early 6 30 6 30 this morning i don't do early mornings but we, it's been such a productive day and now yep. we keep going into shops and people are like morning i'm like still morning <laughs> it feels like 5 p.m to me it's yeah, crazy from now on, you're gonna have to get up really early no i love waking up early you get so much more done but i'm just not a morning person um but today we just need to get a lot of shit done basically morning it's sunday morning today it's very early jess and i are just heading to the shops because we now need to look for wood flooring and tiles we did buy some tiles yesterday actually for our downstairs bathroom we just got a few things on the list that we need to start buying now but we're a bit early because obviously shops open a bit later on a sunday these early mornings are killing me i literally just sprayed deodorant on my face instead of makeup setting spray i'm just so tired 
<laughs> we have a lot to do today. So like, I'm aware that I haven't shown you much of the house this week, but we've just kind of been popping in and out and there's probably not much to show because I don't think we're going there today. And we're not going tomorrow night because we have an appointment with Ren Kitchens in their showroom for the first time, which is great because we've been doing this stuff on Zoom. Um, so I'll try and remember to vlog when we go to these shops. I probably won't. So yeah, let's just see what happens. But it's very early in the morning. It's not even 9am yet, I don't think. So we're going to try, I've got a list of all the shops. Some of them do open at nine. So we're going to go to them in order instead of just driving around like we did yesterday, which was a bit of a pain. We're going to try and stick to two areas that are close by just to try and source these things. But my biggest struggle is wood flooring because that's a really difficult decision to make and it's not something you really would ever change. Um, everything else is kind of not as expensive, obviously, as flooring. And so it's kind of fine if you were to change that but anyway. I'm not with it, so I'm just gonna stop rambling and go. Right, we've just come to a flooring shop. And as much as I would love to get parquet and herringbone pattern with oak, it's just so expensive per square metre. Bearing in mind we need about 50 square metres. I don't really like these sorts of planks, although they're not that much cheaper. So we're looking at different types of flooring in a different place. These are laminate, as is this, which I'm really, really not a fan of. This is LVT, like luxury vinyl tiles. And this one is engineered wood, which I'm really, I really like this one. I think Jess does too. Today is Monday, Monday evening. This week has already been very busy. I think it's just gonna get busier from here on in because we have a lot of decisions to make quick time, like what tiles we want, what shower tray we want, what taps, all of that fun stuff. So that is literally gonna be my week. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you much of the house this week actually because they're doing the next or the last part of the structural work, which is removing that wall and I'm so happy about this because I will then truly be able to picture how like big the room is, the size, what size kitchen island we can get in, where our dining table will go etc etc so I'm very excited for that but obviously while they're doing it it will take them two or three days to put the steel in or the RSJ whatever it's called and we're not allowed to go to the house then because it's not structure structurally safe I think. So I'm not sure how much of the house I'll be able to show you but Tonight we have our first in-store appointment with Ren Kitchens. It's quite far away, this was the first available appointment they could do because it's the 19th today and shops officially opened on the 12th. They were fully booked as I can imagine but I wanted to ideally go at a weekend because this store is quite far from us and so by the time we like, you know, just finishes work, sorry, by the time just finishes work and we actually get there, we're stuck in a lot of traffic. I think that's just always going to be the way whenever we're trying to do these things in the evening. But I'm looking forward to being able to see the kitchen and in person and see the units because it's very hard to tell online. I think we are going to go with Wren. Uh, I'm, they are the most affordable, but I'm not the biggest fan of their customer service. They're terrible. Yeah, so fun times. I'll take my camera with me and maybe, hopefully, I'll be able to show you something when we get there. Looks like you enjoy it, man. Yeah, it's actually uh, a... <laughs> one of the cabinets. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully the beam. Actually, the beam, yeah. It actually seems... Oh, yeah. It's just a bit here. It should be fine, I think. That we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to place the iron accordingly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so move out. Go, go, go down move like. In the Not in the right, left, left. That's it. Yeah, you're, you're coming out slightly. Yeah, keep going. You're I think you've gone out. in the garden now, unless you're supposed to inspect the. You're supposed to inspect the kitchen. Come towards my voice. Come towards my voice. This is so weird. That's it. Go, turn. Go, 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 go towards. That's it. Keep going, keep going. Now, I think you see. <laughs> has she gone outside? She has gone outside the house. I've never seen anyone do that before. But... Here we go. Welcome back. So now, Scott, look, look downwards on the floor and see, see where it says. Yeah, so if you go to go with your hand, you've got to look at the. Depends where you want to go. It's like Google Maps, isn't it? Okay. When you know when you go Google Street View, it's like that. Oh, oh, okay. 
Okay. I think you've gone. Uh, you, know you can stand at one place. Yeah. <laughs> you just look at the floor. That's it. The down, down. That's it. The green bit. Yeah, that's it. Got you got it now. Yeah, okay. I don't that's know. it. Now I think you're spinning around quite a lot. You, you, you now like that's it. Inspect that. I like the jaw actually. Yeah. So now you could go to. Are there three different widths as well? Like huh. Same. Yeah, three, uh, two different. One at the top and two equal size underneath. Yeah. Because nice. top is cutlery size. Yeah. And two deep at the bottom. Oh, okay, hmm. yeah, that's nice actually. Two deep at the bottom is same size. So, yeah. see if you can walk around it now. Actually walk. No, no, no walk. I mean, no, okay, spin around to the what, Zerk sink or something. I'm facing Maybe. the sink. Are you? Yeah. Oh, you're facing the sink. You have to point it on the floor, yeah. Oh, you are sorry, my fault. Yeah. Uh, so you now you're at the sink. Gives you an idea. You want to see the gap between the sink and the island, I think. Um, um, that gap, yeah. Seems alright, isn't it? I, th I think it's a reasonable gap. Um, yeah. This was a bit narrow. Do you think? But will the dishwasher actually open? Yeah, dishwasher will open, but it is narrow, I know. Oh, okay. I don't think you get anyone walking past same time. This is Future Nishi coming at you to end this video. We got back from Ren Kitchens and it was actually really nice to see our kitchen, like virtual reality. Is that what it's called, Jess? Yeah. Virtual reality, like to see it in person and kind of like walk around it. it took me quite a while to get used to like how to actually use it and I walked into like their cabinets and I was like doing it all wrong at first it was really hot and sweaty in there too but it was nice to see what the kitchen will look like and obviously this isn't the final plan there's going to be a few more changes that we make to it but I thought I'd leave this video here and start renovation week five next because i think the wall and the chimney breast and all of that good stuff is happening next week so make sure you stay tuned for that and don't forget to hit the bell notification after you've subscribed because then you'll be notified every time that i upload a new video because at the moment i've been uploading two a week because i have a lot of content to catch up on but anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you next week with a new video bye